This is amazing. Now we are going to see about auto rag using Phi data. So what is auto rag? To understand that, first we need to know what is rag. When the user asks a question to a large language model or AI, it uses the information which it can access. And that information is used as the context to generate a response to the user. That is rag. But in regards to auto rag, when the user asks a question, the large language model is going to decide whether to use the memory that is like the previous history or to search the vector database that is your current knowledge based on the provided file or URL. If the large language model is not able to get enough information from memory or knowledge, it's going to use tools such as web search tool to get those information and finally respond with the relevant information to the user. So the ability for the large language model to decide whether to use memory or knowledge or tools is called autorack. So in this case, we are going to use Postgres as our memory storage, where it can retrieve the history of the conversation. And then it uses PG vector as a knowledge. As soon as you upload a file, that'll get stored in the PG vector database. And in regards to tools, we are going to use DuckDuckGo search to search the web. So this large language model or AI is collecting information from all these areas as appropriate and returning the response to the user. In this, we are going to see how you can create an auto rack from scratch using Phi data, then set up a user interface, which is going to be like this, where you can add your URL and that data will get stored in the knowledge base. Similarly, you can upload a file and it will get stored in the knowledge base. After that, when you ask a question, it is able to pull all the relevant information, deciding which knowledge base or memory store to use and give us a much better response. In this, we are going to cover GPT-40 how to set up Grok Llama 370B, and also how to set up Olama Hermes 2 Pro. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about AutoRack. In this, I'm going to take you through step-by-step step on how to build every single component you can see in this image. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, pip install Phi data and all these components. I will put all the information in the description below so you can just copy and paste it. So after doing this, click enter in your terminal. Next, let's export OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. You can generate OpenAI API key from OpenAI website. So once after you click enter, let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. So inside the file from typing import list nest async IO logging os assistant from phi assist document pdf reader web reader open ai chat assistant knowledge duck duck go open ai embedder pg vector 2 pg assistant storage these are the components which we are going to use in our application such as pdf reader is going to read pdf website reader is going to read website duck duck go to search the web pg vector is to store the embeddings and PG Assistant Storage is to store the history. So next, we're defining the path to the Postgres SQL database, then defining the logger. So in this, we are going to go through three steps. So first, we are going to set up Assistant, that is setting up large language model. Next, we are going to add document to the knowledge, such as uploading a PDF file or even a URL. Primarily, we are going to focus on uploading a PDF file for now. And in the user interface, we are going to add both features. And finally, third step is to run the query, that is ask the question, and retrieve the response from the large language model. So the first step is to set up assistant. I'm going to create a function called setup assistant. In that function, we are going to return the assistant. So here we are giving the name for the assistant as auto rag assistant, providing the large language model. We are defining the storage. That's where you store your memory. And then we're defining the knowledge base. That's where whenever you upload a file, that'll get stored as embeddings. In simple terms, embeddings are numbers. So as soon as the document is uploaded, the text from the document will be converted to numbers using OpenAI Embedder and will get stored in knowledge base. Here we are providing a description. You are a helpful assistant called AutoRag, then providing some general information, the list of things it need to do. First, always search your knowledge base using search knowledge base tool. If you don't find relevant information in your knowledge base, use DuckDuckGo search. If you need reference, use get chat history. Then we are going to provide this information and providing the tools is DuckDuckGo. So these three are the main components, storage, knowledge base, 
and then DuckDuckGo search tool. That's what we are seeing in this image. Three different components for this AI assistant. Postgres, PG Vector, and DuckDuckGo. Now let's go to the step number two of adding document to the knowledge base. So in this case, we are going to upload a PDF file. We are going to define a function, add document to knowledge base. Here we are providing the PDF reader. That will read the PDF which we upload. Then it's going to save that in the knowledge base, as you can see here. In the background, it's automatically getting converted to embeddings, which is all taken care of by Phi Data. So the input is that we are providing the assistant name, the file path, and the file type. Now we have completed the second step of adding document to the knowledge base, which is happening here. Now the third step is to run the query. Run query. You're creating a function called query assistant. When you ask a question to the assistant, it is going to run assistant.run function and then generate a response and return it. That's it. Now we are going to put all these things together. If name equals main, we are using nest async io.apply so it can go through one by one, then defining the large language model name. In our case, we are going to use GPT 4.0 for now. Here we are setting up the assistant with all the three components. So this setup assistant function is the first function which we created where we are providing three different tools or three different functions to the assistant. Then we are providing the path to the PDF file, sample.pdf. It's about the impact of technology on education, benefits of technology in education, challenges of technology in education, and conclusion. Just a simple file for us to understand. Next step, we are adding document to the knowledge base. Just by calling this function, that is the second step, we are passing the assistant, the path to the PDF, and file type is PDF. Just by calling this, the PDF will get uploaded to the knowledge base. Now, next we can ask question, what is the main topic of the document? And send that query to the query assistant. Here you can see we are passing the assistant and the query. And finally, we are printing out the response. That's it. As a quick summary, first we set up the assistant and provided three different functions. Second, we created a function called add document to knowledge base, where we are converting the PDF and uploading that to the knowledge base. And third, we are asking the question to the large language model using a run query. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. One step you need to do is to create your PG vector database. This you can create by using Docker. Make sure you go to docker.com to download Docker. After this, click enter. Next, when you type Docker PS and click enter, you can see that Postgres vector database is running here. In your terminal, Python app py and then click enter. Now you can see it's loading, going through the list of things. And finally, we got the response. I'm going to take you through the list of steps it did go through. First, you can see it read the sample.pdf, loaded that to the knowledge base, as you can see here, by dividing that to chunks. And the final response is loaded one document to the knowledge base. So the first step of adding that to the knowledge base is done. Next, we are providing three different tools. One is get chat history, search knowledge base, and DuckDuckGo to the large language model. Then the large language model is going to decide which tool to use. That is called AutoRag. Here you can see it's searching the knowledge base and retrieving relevant information. Then that information is passed to the large language model again. And here you can see all the information which we received from the tool calling. That is a search knowledge base function. And using that information, here is the assistant's response. What is the main topic of the document? The main topic of the document titled the impact of technology on education with the benefits, challenges, and conclusion. That's it. Now we have successfully created a auto rag application with all three components. Now I'm going to show you how you can create a user interface based on this. Now in your terminal, just navigate to CD, Cookbook, LLMS, OpenAA, and AutoRag, and then click enter. In this way, you're navigating to that folder. Now pip install hyphen our requirements.txt and then click enter to install all the required packages. Next type streamlit run app.py and then click enter. If you get any errors like this, this is because it's pointing to the wrong environment. To set up to the right environment, I pressed Ctrl C to cancel this one. Just type Python hyphen M, streamlit, run app.py and then click enter. Now we will have an interface like this. Here you can choose the model which you want to use. First, I'm going to enter a URL about Phi Data Auto Rag from my website. Then I can click add URL. This will automatically upload the data from this URL to the knowledge base. Now we can ask questions. What is auto rag in Phi Data? Give me the code. Now you can see it's searching the knowledge base 
and it's generating the response. So I ask two questions. What is auto rag? And then give me the code. Sometime a large language model is able to perform only one task at a time. So next I'm going to ask, give me the code for auto rag phi data. Now it's searching the knowledge base and you can see it's generating the code. This is the exact code which is in the URL. So if I visit the URL, here it is. So it's getting all this information and then based on your requirement, it can modify things as well. Now next, we are going to upload a file. Browse files, uploading the sample PDF. At the back end, you can see it all uploaded and saved in the knowledge base. Now we can ask a question. Impact of technology in education. Now it's searching the knowledge base and providing the relevant information from that. Now I can ask latest news about AI and then click enter. Now it's using DuckDuckGo search because that's where you can get relevant information. And you can see it's printing all the latest news about that. This is exciting. And now we have integrated three different functions to an AI assistant to create an auto rag application. Next, we are going to see how we can integrate that with Grok. So canceling our previous run. Now you need to navigate back to the main folder. From there, you can go to cookbook, LLMS, Grok, auto rag, and then click enter. Now pip install hyphen our requirements.txt as before. Now export your Grok API key like this and then click enter. Now same as before, you can type python hyphen m streamlit run app.py and then click enter. Now you're running auto rag with Llama 370 billion parameter, which is by Grok. Here we can choose nomic embed text, which you can load from Olama. Same as before, upload the file and ask the question technology and education. And it gave me a quick response. Next, we are going to see how you can integrate Olama in this application. Going back to the main Phi data folder, CD cookbook LMS Olama auto rag and then click enter. Now pip install hyphen our requirements.txt same as before. Here you can pull Hermes 2 Pro Llama 3 8 billion parameter model from this command and click enter. Similarly, Olama pull nomic embed text and then click enter. Nomic embed text is used for saving data to knowledge base. Open Hermes is used as the open source large language model for us to run the application. If you have already run Docker run to create the PG vector database, then you don't need to run every single time if you want to run the various application. Just running it one time is fine. Now we are ready to run the application. Python hyphen m streamlit run app.py and then click enter. And here is local auto rag where you can upload URL. We're going to test this. Give me code for auto rag. And you can see the code is getting generated. It's automatically creating a code for me. That's because I'm using a open source large language model. The better the model, the better the response is going to be. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.